You're awake, lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. How was it? Did you dream of me? I didn't do much. Just helped you leave the memory zone. Welcome to reality. More specifically, the Reverie. The safest and most familiar place you can be. I'm happy to see that you've kept your wits, and that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. How lucky. I know you've many questions, so please, compose yourself. Before that, you should let your friends know you're safe. Could it really just be a coincidence? What? Look, Miss Himiko, I brought the kid back as promised. Uh, you're all right! We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We were worried sick. It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. Uh, not exactly. Miss Himeko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. <laughs> not quite yet. But thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. So how did you end up there? And what the heck happened? So, the one who attacked you was... A girl dressed in red, adept at illusory arts, and was able to shapeshift. Her name is Sparkle, a masked fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry, she won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. It seems you know her well. Of course, I know everyone here. On Penacony, anyone could be lying, but the Remembrance does not lie. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations, but that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Penacony itself. Penacony... itself? Have you not sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. And the memory zone he fell into. That's the true dreamscape. Chaotic. Dangerous. Enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. <sighs> She's right. Everyone... Do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? Huh. So everyone saw the same thing? I remember... Well, it was a room... And then through a mirror, I came to a long hallway. The... Gallery of Thoughts. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Penacone's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. What could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what he just experienced, and the answer is clear. Penacone's dream is sinking right now, turning back to its original form, and falling into the deep sea. A sink? 
working? You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? The encounter at the dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would it would tarnish the name of the planet of festivities. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that he encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme? How could a meme that heralds death and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? Everyone can be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, for what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Hmm. Let me rephrase, then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the Remembrance. Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuit in aesthetics. I am a memo keeper and a collector. I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? As for you all, nameless of the Astral Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze, I have faith in your potential, as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash on the stage. This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <laughs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. I understand. But before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. Naturally. Take your time. How do you see things, Himiko? It's best to be skeptical of her. There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. But I worry about the worst outcome. If the dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated by someone behind the scenes... Then it likely has something to do with the Watchmaker's invite. Well, excluding any extreme scenarios, the mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family, which narrows it down to two possibilities. Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Either that, or the family has been forced to seek outside aid surreptitiously for self-preservation. But, from the encrypted message on the invite and the family's reaction, the former is more likely. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. Maybe even the same person. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean a thing, right? In terms of methods, both the fools and the Riddlers could pull it off. Hasn't the IPC cracked the message, too? <sighs> March, calm down. It's just a possibility. But if this encrypted message isn't some harmless prank, but done so to invite the Trailblaze into the fray, we cannot remain uninvolved. Well, let me tell you what I discovered, and I'm sorry. It's bad news. According to reliable sources, some people spotted a tall, silver-armored man on Panacone. I've reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and visited many of those guests who claim to have seen this invader. And this 
is what I received. I've sent it to you. Open it and take a look. Ahem. Can you hear me? Astral Express, it's been a while. How's Penicone? It's... it's that hacker girl! I'll get straight to the point. I know you've been investigating the abnormal phenomenon surrounding Penicone. Or rather, we are pleased to see that you've been doing that. Because the deeper you delve, the closer you'll get to uncovering the truth about this so-called beautiful dream. The family is obviously hiding something, right? Well, we've nabbed some valuable information and out of the goodness of my heart, I've decided to share it with all of you. Although it unfortunately means your idyllic break in paradise is nearing its end. Enter this string of code into your dream pool, the device you use to dream with, and dive into the hidden map for a look. The coordinates have been sent to you. You just have to copy them over. Also, I take it you've already heard about Sam? <laughs> you should look forward to the meeting. He's a straight shooter who values a fair fight. <laughs> I think you'll get along with him just fine. Don't be overwhelmed by his enthusiasm. Oh, he had me relay a message to you. Ahem. <clears throat> the curtains have just risen over the dream that can't be reached. <laughs> the various factions have started to move. I wish you luck. Don't fall behind, nameless. Those Stellaron hunters, they even factored Penicone into their plan. Nowhere safe from them! The situation is clear. The planet of festivities isn't what it seems on the surface. Everyone's sights, including the factions in the family, are set on the Watchmaker's legacy. Every party has its own motives, and they're attempting to thwart each other. While we still don't know what this legacy entails, it's only a matter of time before the power struggle ensnares innocent bystanders. The Molten Knight, Sam, is reportedly a remnant of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered warrior. He possesses superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. This message is a threat. The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a visit seems necessary. Which is why I didn't suggest it initially. But the way things are now, the Astral Express has a reason to join the fray. If the family asks, just tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellaron Hunters. I'm sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. Then we are in agreement. Let's return and inform Miss Black Swan. Miss Black Swan, the Express is willing to cooperate with you. We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. I'm at your service. I will not disappoint. You two, return to your own rooms. Enter the dream, and if everything goes without a hitch, we'll see one another at the Dreamscape Hotel's lobby. I'll stay in the real world to ensure everyone's safety. If needed, I will also parlay with the family. I assume there's no problem, Miss Black Swan? It seems that I'll have a hard time gaining your trust, even if I personally did rescue your friends. It's no problem, of course, other than the fact that my feelings are a little hurt. We're counting on you, Welt. As for us, let's get ready to see the dreamscape's true visage. We'll be busy for a while. I wonder if Firefly has returned to reality yet. Hmm, I don't have her contact info. I'll ask Black Swan. You look anxious. 
Worried about that girl? You can talk to me if you've something on your mind. In this world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. Don't worry. That is a one-way door leading to awakened reality. Unless that girl is so stubborn that she refuses to wake up from the dream, which isn't possible. She must be holed up somewhere in the hotel, massaging her eyes right now. No. I will accompany you into the dream to prevent harm from befalling you all. Memo Keepers don't need a dream pool anyway. I just did what I had to do. You are special, after all. So special that many pairs of eyes are watching your every move. All right, drift peacefully off to sleep, and I'll be right with you. Welcome to Pinaconi, honored guest. Back in this familiar room. This way, darling. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? <laughs> That's good then. I know you're more sensitive to memoria, thus more easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany you. I shall use my methods to relieve you. Don't worry, as your companions are safe. I had both of them each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. They're already awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Time waits for no one. We must hurry to the lobby. March's room is this way. I should go meet up with her. I know what you're thinking, but alas, that girl isn't in there, and neither is this her room. The moment you stepped into the memory zone, reality's building structures lost all meaning. I can sense that she is in a faraway place right now. In the meantime, if we want to find that lobby the navigator mentioned, we'll have to try a little harder. These poor little things stumbling about. Strange. There appears to be someone else's pre- uh, Her. How is- Are there- No staff members here at all? Huh? What are you doing here? Well, not really. I just don't know where I am. We'll have to cut the banter short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? I'm indebted to you both for your help. some peace and quiet. What are the two of you doing here? We could ask you the same thing. Panacone's rife with rumors now about the Watchmaker, a legacy, nightmares, and other mysterious tales. I was curious as to who was spreading them and tested the method as described in the rumors. To think I actually ended up here. You aren't hiding anything, are you? Hiding? I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. Your arrival is timely. This dreamscape is fraught with danger. 
Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? I can protect you from harm, but in the memory zone I'll need assistance from the Memo Keeper as well. And if we run into the family, it wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain the situation. Hmm. What do you think? Thank you. I'm truly grateful. Glad to be traveling with you again, Miss Black Swan. Hmm. I truly hope so. This room. Why is it upside down? The memory zone is constantly shifting its form. Looks like we'll have to think of a way to walk on the ceiling. We're standing on the ceiling right now. Miss Acheron's words speak sense. Regardless, we have to reach that flat surface hanging overhead. And we're not scaling the pillar, of course. I'll teach everyone some traversal tricks used in the memory zone. How about it? Can you feel the memoria flowing around you? Next, find a suitable spot and try walking up the wall. Reach the end of the story in your own way. <laughs> it worked. You really can walk up walls. A memory zone of this level is mere child's play to a memo keeper. Come on, let's head out through the front door. You're natural, aren't you? You're a prodigy at remembrance. We've arrived. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination with it. But the memory zone up ahead appears to be severely twisted. Be careful, everyone. See? I told you it wasn't going to be that simple. Where is this? <sighs> this door is locked too. There's no end to this. Let me try. This memory zone is overly twisted. I have to use an elegant method, so you two, please give me a little time. Hmm. Got it. I can see the core of this dreamscape, and there are members of the family, and some figures trying to find their way forward. It appears that your friends aren't faring too well. One, two, three, wait, three. There's a third person seeking the way to the lobby. Wait, it's... The girl who was with you. It eludes me, but there is a known semblance in the memory zone. 
mirroring the essence she radiates. What reason does she have to delve so deep into the dreamscape? She... is she running? No. Running away? Something's right behind her. This is not good. Everyone, we must hurry. There's no time. I'll just have to break the rules and use some methods to help you phase through the memory zone. I picked up slivers of her thoughts in the memory zone. These will help you form an impression of her. Now, you must hang on to these thoughts with all your might and shape them in your mind. I caught some very familiar memories just now. She's not the only old friend who has appeared here. There was also a third party at the scene when you ran into danger. That memory zone meme, it is here as well. Hurry, through here. Watch out! A dangerous presence lurks nearby. Everyone, be on your guard. Look at me. Calm down. Deep breaths. All right? Allow me. Relax. You'll be fine. I'm really sorry, but I have to leave for a short while. Death still hovers about, and I must personally ensure Miss Himiko and Miss March 7th's safety. 
and warned them. I'll leave him to you, Miss Acheron. I'm sorry for what happened. I was too focused on that girl and got sloppy. It was my hesitation that caused her to lose her life. I'm sorry. But if in that moment I chose to draw my blade... <sighs> sorry, I... I had no choice. Yes, we will. But not yet. Before the hunt, we should keep our eyes peeled and consider where the true enemies are hiding and how to fight them. Do not let pain dictate your thoughts. Compose yourself and you will walk the right path. Once, someone said to me, No compassion for the enemy, for that is cruelty upon yourself. But you must see clearly who the true enemy is. And then, with one swing of your blade, you must understand its meaning and the price you pay. This is the only advice I have for you, from someone burdened with a blood debt. I'm back. Miss Himiko has something to tell you. There's good news and bad news. I understand the situation now. Please take him and retreat to a safe location. If time allows, you can investigate Firefly's matter first. Meet later at Clocky Statue. Which is why I must undertake Miss Himiko's request and bring both of you back to reality. I'm glad to see that you're fine. Let us reach a safe place before speaking again. Miss Black Swan, do you not intend to open some sort of... teleporter? Mm, I don't recommend that. His mental state is unstable, so we have to avoid any rough traversal methods like just now. Also, while we're departing, we can still do more for Miss Firefly, can't we? Some remnants of her presence linger nearby. Seize the chance to etch them into your remembrance, before they're gone. If we can start investigating on the way, that'd be good. Let's go. We have to find another path. Sorry, but could you give me a few more minutes? I, um... I have some unfinished business. <laughs> 